hello hello welcome back to my channel and i am going into episode two of cutie pie to you <laughs> uh let's let's go into it probably gonna be a little bit stressful no i feel like maybe a bit of drama maybe i don't know okay. that's a bit loud fam <laughs> if nothing else, <laughs> Yi and Diao are getting on great, no? <laughs> Cute. Kua got me worried tonight. I won't lie to you. He's got me worried right now. Still got the same phone case. Still got the plushies. <laughs> Processing. We would love to have you as our new artist. Mm. They had to get the original theme tune in there sometime, no? <laughs> คุณมาอยู่ผมตื่นมายืดเส้นเฉยๆครับเนี่ยพอดีรู้สึกว่าคุณมาอยู่ผมตื่นมายืดเส้นยืดสายเสร็จแล้วตามลงมากินข้าว
This makes me think back to the ginger scene in the first one, though. Communication, we'd like to see it. So he is on board with it. So what are you worried about? <laughs> if he looked at me like that, I'd just fucking die, no? <laughs> just, just lay me down on the ground, I'd be dead. <laughs> He's kind of perfect. Oh. In my first BL crush that I ever had. Why would you lie? Why wouldn't you tell him about the Cosmixo Entertainment? He literally just calls him new now. He, he just says, uh, he loves new. It's so cute. That man is the ideal husband just walking by. <laughs> He's so sweet. Why wouldn't you tell him that Cosmic Soul Entertainment want to talk to you? Why lie? I don't get it. You just had a conversation 10 seconds previous to that about being Kieran and he was all for it. He is so possessive. <laughs> Cute. When is their spin off thing going to be set? Is it going to be set after this? Before this? Who knows? I don't. Who are you talking to? Uh, we're not going to get to see him, are we? <laughs> You're telling Jay about it, but not Lian. You're not telling the most important person in his life. Probably also the reaction Lian would have, no? Smart. เพื่อนเดียวจะไปเป็นศิลปินค่ายเกาหลีดังแล้วอายอยเซโยคิดเมื่อวานยองกูเลยกูยังไม่ได้ตอบอะไรกลับไปเลยเนี่ยแล้ว
Ah. Brilliant. <laughs> the owl is still fucking adorable, no? <laughs> You're doing a lot of thinking, not a whole bunch of talking. I won't lie to you. วันนี้คอนเฟิร์มนัดที่เวดดิ้งสตูดิโอเป็นที่เรียบร้อยแล้วนะครับส่วนที่เหลือทางสตูก็ส่งให้คุณเรียนได้ลองดูก่อนครับ
เดียวขอทาเลเกอร์สิว่านั่นแต่งในความฝันของคุณเหรียญอยากได้ประมาณไหนล่ะครับให้สมเกียรติกับตระกูลของเจ้าแบบสบายๆไม่ต้องพิธีมากโทนสีในงานล่ะครับเทาขาวดูสุภาพเป็นทางการแขกแล้วงานล่ะแค่ใส่หนูเกลือก็ห้าหกร้อยแล้วเอาแค่คนสนิทก็พอดนตรีครับไลฟ์แบนด์คลาสสิกเจวิลิงอ่ะในสตูก็ได้แนวสตรีทสตรีทหน่อยอ่ะสถานที่จัดงานนะครับสถานที่จัดงานที่พี่สามารถรับรองแขกทุกคนได้ริมทะเล You guys really need to have a conversation with each other <laughs> Five to six hundred people I don't think I know five to six hundred people Oh, these guys are cute. What are you doing? 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 What does that mean for you two? Does that affect them in any way? Say what's on your mind, sir. No one's saying what's on their mind. It's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> คุณเหรียญคุณอี้ลองชิมเค้กดูครับเป็นเค้กจากร้านพาทิเซียลเค้กร้านนี้ต้องต่อคิวนานมากทั้งหอมทั้งหวานทั้งอร่อย Again this is the kind of thing you should be doing with k u a here no I feel like <laughs> These two men, <laughs> he actually allowed himself to get fed. <laughs> These two men do not strike me as the kind of people to have the patience to put up with four, you know? <laughs> and yet they have for four years. <laughs> crazy. He's crazy. Yeah. Try the cake, sir. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cute. When are you two getting married? Maybe a cup. Oh, maybe a cup, my big group. Don't make any loud. How do you still have your job, man? I don't even know. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Cute. Please don't lie. ก็สนุกดีนะครับเฮียก็ลองดูดีนะครับเฮียก็ลองดูดีนะครับเฮียก็ลองดูดีนะครับเฮียก็ลองดูดีนะครับเฮียก็ลองดูดีนะครับเ
I'm in love with that man. <laughs> I'm in love with that man. I can't. Cute. He is totally on board with you being singing and having a career and all that. You really should tell him, man. เดี๋ยวเชิญคุณเหรียญขึ้นทางนี้เลยนะครับคุณคุณเนี่ยฮันนุ้นเลยครับทำไมต้องแยกกันด้วยเหรอเฮ้ยนั่นจะได้เซอ
I am praying this man doesn't make any big decisions. Whoa, I feel bad for Lian, man. It's great he's celebrating this with Diao and everything, but it, it, he should be celebrating it with Lian, no? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nice tie. I'm digging it. <laughs> Someone else has got marriage on the brain. Yes. <sighs> Thank you so much for the offer and the call. I'll think about it and give you the answer before midnight your time zone. Yes. Thank you. You too. Have a good day. Goodbye. เมื่อกี้พูดคุยกับคอสมิโต้จริงๆเหรอวะคุณอยากจะเชื่อเลยว่าเออคิวเบสติสไอ think the reality is setting in for him though right ที่พูดทางไหนดีวะมึงเดี๋ยวก็เกลือเลยอยู่แล้วแหละว่าตัวเองอยากได้ทําอะไรก่อนอ่ะแล้วถ้าเฮียไม่รอกูขึ้นม
มีแต่เหนือที่มาหาเราอยู่ด้วยบางทีตอนนี้ก็อาจจะไม่ใช่จังหวัดที่ดีสักเท่าไหร่แต่แค่อยากอยู่กับศีลนะโอ้จะอยู่แบบมีสติหรือว่าไม่มีสติเราก็อยากอยู่กับสิ่งทั้งนั้นแต่ถ้าไม่มีสติก็จะทำให้เราไม่มีสิ่งไม่มีสิ่งก็พอ cute ไปไหนทางนี้คิดคิดคิดทุกอย่างตามใจหนูเลยเฮียไม่ได้สิครับได้สินี่มันงานแต่งเฮียกับหนูก็ใช่อสิครับงานแต่งของเฮียกับเกื้อไม่ใช่ของเกื้อคนเดียวซะหน่อยครับกือกีรติก็ไม่ใช่บริการที่นี่เหมือนกันเหรอคะนี่มาดามโซนโกรีไงที่เป็นเจ้าของยาถ่ายตากระต่ายสายเจนสลงไหมเกือกีรติครับขอให้มีความสุขมากๆนะคะขอบคุณครับโอเคมาดามแข่งที่ต้องไปก่อนแล้วนะคะสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับแล้วเจอกันไหมคะแล้วมาดามมานี่ไม่ชื่ออะไรก็ชื่อด้วยไม่เป็นไรค่ะเดี๋ยวมาดามค่อยมาเหมาทั้งร้านเลยเลือกเหลือนะคะที่เหลือมาดามเอาเหมานะคะบายสวัสดีครับค่ะบายไปต่อคุณค่ะอย่าไปสื่อสารแกเลยแกก็เป็นอย่างนี้เรามาต่อในเรื่องของพิธีการดีไหมครับคุณเกื้ออยากให้มีพิธีอะไรบ้างครับตามใจหนูเลยเกื้อกระดับเป็นเฮียเป็นกันครับเป็นพิธีแรกคำสาบานดีไหมครับดีครับใช่ก็ดีนะงั้นเป็นว่าตกเย็นเป็นพิธีแรกคำสาบานโอเคนะครับแค่นั้นก็พอละได้ครับคือ his heart is not in it. I can tell. I think Leanne can tell too. He was okay with that. Why is this an issue again? I don't understand. The whole point of cutie pie was the fact that he thought that you couldn't be Kieran and get married, and you could, and he told you you could. Lord have mercy. On my soul. <laughs> They're giving me strength right now. They're giving me strength. Oh. No, these two cuties. Why do you look sad? Chloe. She's scratching up my furniture. You see this communication going on right now? What's up with you? And then he tells him what's up. <laughs> 
เดี๋ยวค่อยถามคิดแล้วเดี๋ยวอยากไปดูที่ไหนครับที่บ้านกับเมียครับแล้วก็หมาน้องด้วยหมาน้องเจ๋งเลยครับเลยชื่อตัวเองด้วยนาตาชาโรมาโนเฉินคาชาไม่รู้ชื่อตัวเองหรอคิดไม่ใช่เห่าเก่งน้องก็เห่าเกียแหละเดี๋ยวน้องน่าจะชอบคุยกับเกียนะแล้วคนเดียวไม่อยากคุยกับเกียคิดอะไรอยู่ไม่ได้คิดอะไรครับแค่เป็นห่วงเกือนนิดหน่อยมีเหรียญอยู่เกียไม่เป็นไรเดี๋ยวไม่คิดอะไรบ้างคิดอะไรครับเนี่ยมาเรียม do it ก็เลยสามารถ you guys have already got so much better communication <laughs> than what the other two have do it do it do it do it จริงจริงแล้วเฮียกับนาเฮียก็ควรจะคุยกับเราไปทางบ้านแล้วแหละ yes Me you s e e shit. You should also get rid of the dog. <laughs> That was a joke. <laughs> Don't come at me. Always at the worst moments, doggo. <laughs> Get. Oh man, they're so domestic. I love them. They got everything going well for them. เฮียครับเกลือไปอาบน้ำก่อนนะครับเดี๋ยวเกลือต้องลงมาทำงานข้างล่างทำงานที่ห้องนอนก็ได้ไม่เป็นไรครับเฮียเกลือไม่อยากกวนเฮียพรุ่งนี้เฮียทำงานเช้านี่ครับหนูอยากเอาอะไรไหมนมอุ่นหรือข้าวต้มไม่ครับขอบคุณครับเฮียงั้นเดี๋ยวเกือขึ้นอาบน้ำก่อนนะครับ He can definitely tell something's up 100% ครับเฮียเรื่องงานแต่งถ้าไม่ใช่แบบที่หนูอยากได้เดี๋ยวไว้ที่เลือกกันใหม่นะ See he knows something's going on ตามใจเฮีย Yeah. Yeah. Go leave him up now. My God. Need to go to my mom. I don't leave him in on a half. Thank you. I'll make my God. Maybe I have. And. Go down now. I have. Leon can tell, right? Who is not. Like that, interested in picking anything for the wedding, he's just like, "I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to you. I'm fine with anything." And Liam can definitely tell, and he just thinks that he's like not interested in the wedding for some reason. He don't know what the reason is because Ku is not telling him. <laughs> It's so frustrating. I swear to God. I feel really bad for Lien. I really do. It was the same in Cutie Pie with the paperwork. I felt really bad for Lien. And that your fiance has always been supportive of. Remember when you kept things to yourself last time, and then it all came out, and it was all fine? Do you remember that? Hmm, flashies.
We could try talking to the real Kua. I'm like gradually sinking down. I'm like deflating. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, he knows something's up. You can tell just by that text. Go talk to him. For the love of God. <laughs> Don't make me drag you up there. I'll do it. <sighs> he looks so worried. There's got to be something I'm missing, right? <laughs> About where the drama is going to come from. He made it without you. I'm sorry to tell you that. <laughs> What's the problem, Kua? I don't get it. Explain it. <laughs> How long would he be going for? Nothing has been clarified for me. <laughs> Is he leaving tomorrow? I don't understand. มันก็ไม่มีสิทธิ์อะไรในกฎหมายเลยนะเว้ยเพราะเรายังยืนยันที่จะแต่งกับน้องตอนนี้แล้วกูต้องรอถึงเมื่อไหร่วะถึงจะ
you could still say that to someone who's engaged, right? Like, congrats for making the decision to get married. So maybe they're not married at this particular conversation point. Maybe they are going to get married after he comes back. I don't know. It's not clear. Because then at the end, he says this. <laughs> so I, I don't know. But I'd, how long is he going to career for? Would it be like a year's contract? Two years? Indefinitely? I don't know. He said wait for me and thinking about stuff while waiting for you. So it can't be indefinitely. But Leanne's not going to go with him. They're just going to go long distance for a year. I don't know. I guess whatever works for you guys. I would have thought Leanne would just go with him, no? If he has to go live in Korea for a year or something? That would make more sense to me. But I guess maybe because he's a businessman and stuff, he's got stuff to do here. I don't know. So I guess maybe they're going to go long distance for a while. Who knows? That probably means we're going to get a time jump. I'm going to prepare myself for the worst <laughs> with that. So the question is going to be, are they going to get married before he goes or after he comes back? Like a time jump and then they come back and get married. I, I See, with this whole conversation, I was trying to work out what the fucking problem was. Because I was like, we already discussed that he's okay with the Kieran thing. And even when Kua right here is like, I want to be Kieran, he's just like, you are Kieran? <laughs> I don't understand. And neither me or Lien could understand what this boy was thinking. Why he was so upset. But it's to do with the fact that it kind of gets in the way of the wedding. But I thought, where, when would he leave? <laughs> like, would it be that soon? So either he's going to go in like a, a few weeks or a month or whatever, and they're rushing to get the wedding done first. Or, uh, we don't know what the, what the hell's going on here, and then he's going to go to Korea and then they're going to get married when he gets back. I'm guessing the wedding's going to be first, right? Because of they're doing like the practice look. They've got the practice run, we've got Perth coming in, or Jay, sorry, Jay. <laughs> it looks like they're going to rush to get the wedding done, and then he's going to go to Korea, and then they're going to go long distance. Potentially with a time jump to deal with however long the contract's going to be for, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is having a lot of the... Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like this is having a lot of the same problems uh, as Cutie Pie. And when I say problems, I don't mean problems with the show. I mean points of conflict. Where the drama is coming from is like miscommunication, uh, choosing not to talk to each other and just trying to guess what the other person is thinking, making decisions without each other. In Cutie Pie, when Kua finds the paperwork, he just keeps it to himself for ages. He tries to guess what Lien might have been thinking when doing that and what the reasoning is. He basically tries to make assumptions and like use guesswork and at the same time he doesn't like speak his own feelings about it and his own confusion and actually if he had just gone up to Lien and said like okay I wasn't snooping I went to um get the money for the takeout or whatever and I found these papers on your desk and I'm really concerned can you tell me what's going on with this <laughs> All of the reasonable explanation that was delivered later on could have happened in that moment and spared all the drama, right? And I know it's a drama, like a drama series, so there needs to be drama there. I'm not saying like there shouldn't be drama. I'm just saying that the drama is coming from such a ridiculous place <laughs> because it's so easily resolved with one conversation. I don't know, it's silly. And then to have gone through that entire experience and to realise not only with the property stuff but with the whole Kieran situation in episodes 11 and 12 and all of that. To go through all of that and to have that experience and realise that you guys should have just talked it out earlier. To have the same thing happening again and to not think back to that experience and be like, I should just have a conversation with him and communicate. It drives me a little bit crazy. It's the it's the exact same thing, right? Kua didn't talk to Lien about the uh the offer. 
he told Diao, which is fair enough, that's his bestie. He told Jay. <laughs> um, again, there's some musical ties there, right? Jay, Jay in his bar and stuff. Uh, he was like, well, it, he was probably the closest thing to Kieran's manager for a while. So I, I get it, but like the most important person in your life that you're planning a, a wedding with and you're you're going to marry, and you don't tell them something like this, you don't include them in that, is really weird, especially if it's going to involve you relocating for however long it's going to be. That's a huge decision to make by yourself. To even consider by yourself without like talking about it with them. And because Lien is so on board with Kua being Kirin, like that is definitely a decision that he should have been involved with. There could have been some healthy discussion there. But Kua doesn't tell him until after he's already made the decision to take the contract. He's like, I've got an answer for it now. And it, it's like, I, I don't know, I feel really bad for him. And it reminds me of like the paperwork scene and stuff and Kua just going off by himself to his secret house and Lien coming home to an empty, like, dark house wondering where Kua is and stuff. And I just feel, felt really bad for him back then and I feel bad for him now. Um, it's a little bit selfish on Kua's part, to be quite honest. But it, it's just, it's the same points of conflict, right? It's the miscommunication. It's just the characters, if they have a problem, they just don't talk about it. They just keep it to themselves and they just assume they know what's going on with the other person and they they don't say, like, this is how I'm feeling. I think the healthiest communication we've had this episode was from Yi and Diao. Yeah, right here. This scene was the best communication we've ever had. Well, not ever had, but you know what I mean. He could tell that Diao was upset about something or like zoning out. Yeah, there you go, you're zoning out. And he's like, what's up with you? What's going on? You're... So he asks the question like, I can tell you're upset about something, what's going on? And Diao is like, this is what I'm thinking about. I'm worried about Kua. Uh, wondering why the date is always at home, stuff like that. They have a good conversation about it, no? It's very wholesome. <laughs> I like these two a lot. This was good communication. Which, considering in Cutie Pie, this man was not very good with his words, no? <laughs> he was not a wordsmith, for sure. Um, They're doing very well on communication. I'm very proud of them. But there's definitely miscommunication here, right? When you're, like, in the same house as your fiancé, one floor apart, and you have to text them to ask them if there's anything you want to talk about. They're definitely not in their strongest place right now, right? We we did finally get some communication going here. It it took a while though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, it, it's a little bit frustrating to see the same drama and the same conflict coming back into play, but I put up with it because I love the characters, and I, the, the, I think that was the same with Cutie Pie. At the time, I hadn't watched any other BLs, so I just thought it was, like, <laughs> a gift from heaven. I thought it was great. But looking back, the story itself and the conflict and the tropes that were used, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was the characters that I loved and their their chemistry and how cute they were and, you know, how sweet and charming they were. And it's the same with this. I'm I'm not too happy with all the miscommunication, and it is quite frustrating. At the same time, I just love all the characters so much that I'm willing to put up with it. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people feeling bad for Lian because <laughs> Kua just turns up and he's like, I want to go to Korea. <laughs> what about our wedding? What are we going to do about it? He's just kind of made the decision by himself. It was really well acted by, by both of them, to be honest. But you can definitely, with Lian, you can see how heartbroken he is. Um, and how difficult it is for him. And it, it sucks because up until this point, so far, right, these last two episodes, he has been like a model husband. <laughs> he has been so caring and attentive. He has 
been there for him. He's not like the workaholic that he was in uh, like the first few episodes of Cutie Pie. He cooks for Kua, he takes him places, he likes to listen to him sing and said like, oh, I would even have you sing at our wedding and stuff like that. He He's at the wedding studio trying cake and, and making sure that Kua's included in all the decisions. He is like a model husband and he is being so attentive and caring about Kua and it's like his whole world right now revolves around Kua and Kua's just thinking about himself. <laughs> it just kind of sucks a little bit. And you, Kua does want to marry Lian. I mean, I think he said it in the preview, but he also said it like earlier on in the episode. He does really want to marry uh, Lian. He told that to Diao in the changing room. But he's just thinking about himself and his career. And it's like, I get it, it's great. You you just got amazing news, an amazing offer. It's potentially like life-changing, right? I get it. But how can you be that selfish to not include Lien in that decision? I don't... I don't understand. I feel like Lien was just blindsided by it, no? Oh, it's rough. I don't know. They've definitely got their communication problems still, for sure. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was still a good episode. It's very cute. I'm I'm still in love with Yi and Diao. They're <laughs> my first side couple. I'm just... They they will always <laughs> I'll always have a soft spot for them I really will. Um, that was episode two out of four. Next week we will see how things go. It looks like we're going to get a bit more of the conversation in the bedroom and then potentially wedding planning. It looks like maybe they are going to get married before he goes. I don't know. I don't know how I I'm honestly at a loss right now where they're going to go with it and how they're going to work it. At this point, they could even get married and then the last episode could just be that he just goes to Korea and says bye, but I feel like that would be kind of a crappy ending. So I don't know. I don't know where they're taking it right now. I really don't. We'll have to see um, how how they progress and how they resolve it. All I know is next week I get to see Perth. <laughs> and that makes me happy. All right, that is it for Cutie Pie to You. I will be back next Friday with the next episode. Bye!